division of a decimal by a power of 10. Uh, first off, what do we mean by a power of 10? Uh, powers of 10 are just the number 10 raised to various powers, like the first power, 10 raised to the second power, 10 to the third, 10 to the fourth, uh, etc. So those are numbers like, well, 10 to the first power is 10, and then 10 to the second is 100, 10 to the third, 1,000, and 10 to the fourth, 10,000. So this is what we are dividing by. We start off with a decimal, a decimal being divided by one of these things, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, etc. So we have the decimal being divided by, let's, uh, let's give an example here. What if we had 356.8 and that was being divided by one of these guys, right? one of these powers of 10, like maybe 100. The nice thing about these problems is that uh, because we're dividing by 10, 100, 1,000, which just has the one with the zeros behind it, it really becomes just a task of moving the decimal. Uh, we're going to move the decimal a set number of times, and we're going to move it depending on how many zeros are in the number that we're dividing by, whether there's one, two, three, four, etc. That tells us how many times to move it. But since we're dividing, uh, we have to figure out, of course, whether we're moving it to the left or the right. Whenever we divide, we make things smaller. When we divide by 10 or 100, we're going to get a smaller number than the one that we started off with. So hopefully that will help you remember that when we're dividing by a power of 10, we're going to move the decimal to the left. So we're moving it to the left. We take our first number, which here is 356.8, and we move it two digits, two because 100 has two zeros, two digits to the left, which is then going to put it behind the 3 so that our answer is 3.568. So we moved it two digits because of the two zeros. We moved it to the left because when we divide we make things smaller. Uh, let's take a look at one of the examples here. Uh, we are dividing 86.8 by 1,000. So let's take our number 86.8 and since we're dividing by a thousand we know we're gonna have to move that decimal one two three times and we're gonna move it to the left now once I move it two times I kind of run out of digits but like we often do in math we can always just add in some zeros to get that third space over there so our final answer whenever we do our division is point zero eight six eight because we had to move the decimal three places to the left three places because of the three zeros and one thousand and to the left because when we divide we make things smaller